Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to Happy Holidays, where we are going to be doing 25 videos from the first to Christmas. Uh, Christmas content, winter content, all that thing. I'm going to try and keep it uh, to Christmas, and I'm going to try and keep it to the darker side, the horror side of things. Um, I will have some stuff, some fam just like I did for Halloween, some family-leaning stuff. For Halloween, I did night books and the Halloween tree. This year, I'm going to be uh, reviewing A Boy Called Christmas, which is on Netflix right now if you want to check that out before I get to it. But before we jump into our review today, I have something for you. War on Christmas. By me? Yeah. So, uh, three years in a row I released, well, actually every single year since 2015, I believe, I've released a free Christmas story during the holidays. The first three all tied together. Um, I call it War on Christmas. And the covers are on the back. It was The Naughty List, Deck the Halls, and then Beyond the Gates of Toyland. Uh, so three interconnected stories all about Santa Claus saving the day. Um, and I'll, we're going to talk a little bit about you know Santa Claus being a good guy or being a villain and what your opinions on uh, are on either one of those. But this is up all year long. You can buy the paperback. Um, there will be free... Uh, new free short Christmas stories from both uh, my my name Edward Lorne and uh, Ward Nerdlow. There'll be two up this year. Um, so extra pin name, you get an extra free story. Anywho, moving on with the review today, we are talking about Rare Exports, which is a Finnish film about a evil Santa Claus. Um, now, what I wanted to talk about the most here is that I really enjoy this movie. I love this movie a lot. Um, it's about a mining, uh, it's not really about a mining expedition, but the, there's this mining going, off, going on in this mountain. They uncover uh, Santa Claus's tomb, and then carnage just ensues. It's one of the better quality productions that I've seen. I can't remember if the movie was dubbed, but it is, it is in Finnish. Um, I can't remember, like I said, I can't remember if the movie's dubbed. Uh, I, I normally watch the, the cr not the credits. I usually have captions on uh, for the translation on any any uh, foreign film because it you know it I, I don't like the way the dubbing is forced and usually they're not saying anything near what like in Squid Game people are comp complaining about that in Squid Game so I prefer the the you know the su subtitles that's it not captions I guess they're captions. What, what is it? Is it sub subtitles if it's uh, in the same language? No, it's captions for the hearing impaired and subtitles for a different language, right? I don't know. Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But back to the movie. So this one has to do with a uh, an evil Santa coming, coming back. Uh, and wreaking havoc. It's a very brutal and gory movie. Uh, I have a lot of fun with that aspect. The best part of the film, I think is the depiction of this nasty Santa Claus. Uh, it, it really hit the sweet spot for me, both in, in horror and Christmas. I think it was very, very well done. And I want you guys to check it out. Uh, I, th these, are, these reviews are going to be shorter um, because I I'm going to be liking all the stuff that I talk about, um, whereas you, you got negative reviews for uh, 31 Days of Halloween. Ha Halloween. I screwed up the title of my own thing. Anyways, but uh, you're going to get all stuff that I enjoyed, um, at least three stars or above for this, because it is the holidays, man. We, we're going to be happy around here. Trust me, the negative reviews will be coming back. It's okay. Anyways, so with, with Rare Exports, the production quality, the characters are great. Everything, uh, everything about the film is, is terrific. But what I want to know from you guys, um, I'll be down in the doobly-doo to talk to you. How do you feel about Santa Claus being portrayed as a villain? In in my in War on Christmas, he's the hero. Um, me personally, I tend to lean towards Santa Claus being the hero in in the horror movies. Or, it, but but it also seems like most horror makes Santa Claus the villain. So do you like that? Do you not like that? 
Um, there's another aspect that Krampus isn't in rare exports, but you have Krampus to, to balance him out in uh, Brahms Krampus. Krampus is the good guy and Santa is the bad guy. Where do you draw the line? Do you think both of them can be bad or good? Do you, do you just have no preference? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Um, one last thing about this film. I, I really want to talk about the production quality, so down there in the doobly-doo, let me know if you have seen this film. Let me know what you thought of the production quality because I thought it was like a triple A title. The cinematography, the movie's beautiful, but also it's a lot of fun. So it's not an art house film. It's, you know, there's a lot a lot of fun to be had. Not that you can't have fun with an art house film, but you guys know what I mean. You know, it's it's more about the uh, the experience than it is like the plot, and this one's plot heavy. Um, but this film is shot beautifully. Uh, big fan of that. Big fan of the violence. Uh, there, there's one section in a room and everything... It, it, You'll see. I don't want to tell you too much about it. I want you to enjoy it for yourself. Um, but if you have watched it, or if you do end up watching it, come back to this video. Let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo. Whether or not you loved it, hated it, felt mad about it. But if you felt any of those ways, let me know why in detail so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another episode. First episode. Get it right. First episode of Happy, Happy E. Holidays. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.